Hi everyone, I'm excited to show you the DJI Agress T100 today. We received the drone literally today and we are making this video for you because we are excited since this is a huge moment for us and for the US farming community. It's going to help our hardworking farmers to compete globally and it unlocks a new level of efficiency and productivity for our farmers. So here, what you see, uh, first of all, before going any further, I'm Mehdi from Tata Strons and okay. this is Ryan, the after sales manager. So on this side, you will, you're will you seeing the box of the spraying system. The Agress T100, it comes in uh, basically two pieces. The landing gear, the spraying system is in this box. There is the battery cooling system there too. The DJI Agress T100 frame that includes the main frame, the arms, motors, ESCs, everything else is here. And then on this side, you're seeing the spreading system. The boxes, you see how big the spreading system box is because it comes with its own landing gear. So you don't have to take out a, a spraying system or liquid system uh, tank and put the spreading system. You just pick up this frame from the spraying system and put it on top of the spreading system and attach the cables. Uh, and so, yeah, the batteries are here. There are three batteries here. We put them here because we wanted to show you what comes in a ready to fly bundle package. So usually that spreading system is optional, but uh, a ready to fly bundle package has the spraying system, the frame, the three batteries, C10,000 charger over there, the adapter cable to connect a C10,000 charger to the batteries of the DJI Agress T100. It's important to know that you have three options for charging these batteries. C10,000, with the help of that adapter, can get the job done. It probably will take about 15 minutes to charge each batteries. C12,000 can charge them faster, slightly under 10 minutes, however, you will need to have, it's important, you need to have a three-phase generator. And it's not very common for generators to be three-phase. So if you have a very large generator and it's three-phase, I recommend that you go with the C12,000. But if you have a smaller generator, C10,000. We have the third option, which is the DJI D14,000 generator and charger all in one. That's an option as well. So you can talk to the Talos Drones uh, support team and see which option fits you, fits your operation best with the equipment that you already have in your farm. This one is the mist nozzle package, the DJI T100 mist nozzle package. It's the option that gives you four nozzles instead of the two nozzles that they come uh, by default in this package. So out of all these boxes, only the mist nozzle package and a spreading system can be optional. And this right here, you have two more options to choose from. So you can build your own package based on your operation. So we will go ahead and open one of these uh, battery boxes to show you how they look like. So now we have the battery out here, uh, just well, this is a 60 volt, uh, 41,000 milliamp hour battery. So the system here, there is no latch here to like, or clip to press like the T50. You pull this up and it unlocks the battery. What I find interesting is that the battery is not, I mean, it's heavy, but it's not too bad. But what's interesting is that there is a soft material under it's a soft rubber which helps and it if you come closer here you can see like how it moves so this is soft rubber which is very interesting and it would be helpful for your hand not to get hurt after pulling these heavy batteries over and over which i like that uh, thanks to the r d team of dji for doing that so if i pick it up you can see the connectors are different than the t50 and are a lot better and stronger, which is ideal for the operation. Right here is where the air will go through and cools down your battery with the battery cooling kit that is in the box of the spray system.
when you cut this please be careful that you don't damage your carbon fiber because it loses its properties and the strength if you crack it or cut something so it's important not to cut your carbon fiber and do the opposite side and not cut yourself either that's an advice i can give at this point it's very interesting it's a new mechanism for uh, the latch of the arms as you can see i move it open and the latch goes in place right there automatically if I, you can see how interesting that mechanism is and then you just all right so once you got the top frame on onto the landing gears so now it's a bit different of a system compared to the t50 but now we have the cable plug is going to be attached to one of the sides of the landing gears and all you have to do is just undo the cap and plug them in. Cool. Wait, so you get the click and now you can just pop it back in place. So now here it is, the DJI Agra ST100. We opened the boxes. It didn't take long to put it together because uh, there are latches. Basically, you just put the frame on top of the landing gear and the spray system and you connect it there with those strong latches on, the, on both sides and it's ready to go. Uh, well, it needs to be activated, the uh, firmware and register it under your account. But uh, I love how it looks and how large it is and also the thickness of these arms. It's just, I've not seen something like that for, for forever. I mean, like I've never seen anything like that. And it's just the motors, you can see it has the top motors and the bottom ones, massive motors. Massive motors, massive propellers, solid system. The uh, ESCs are here all together. If you can go on the other side and show it. And then with this, this system of having eight motor, this time on this model, although DJI's products always have uh, the, like they're famous for being reliable, uh, this one with having eight motors, even if you lose two motors, your drone is not gonna fall from the sky. So don't worry about that. That's the beauty of this drone. And again, DJI drones always have been the most reliable brand in the market. And they are the ones that they are tough, industrial level, and they last long. We have drones from 2015 that we have sold and the customers are still using them in the farms. And here it is 2025 and look at that. So uh, I'm excited about this drone. I will let Ryan to get into the technical uh, detail of the components for you. Please Ryan, go ahead and let us know about these components. All right, so first things first, the biggest like selling point of this drone is the 100 liter system, wow. the yep. 20 gallons. Um, basically, it is a huge upgrade from the T50. Um, now, again, it is now a top frame and a bottom frame. So now the landing gears are separate, but that also includes the entire spray system. So what's different with the spray system is there are no longer spray, spray lances. So it is now this back rod right here. Um, so now the product won't be getting into the front of the drone. It won't be getting into the cameras. It won't be blocking the vision, blocking sensors or anything. It'll be pretty much in the back. Same thing with the uh, other sp mist spraying kit. There's gonna be an additional nozzle here where again, all of them are on the back. You won't be having any product going onto the front of your drone and blocking any sort of like vision sensor or any type of camera um, up there. Speaking of camera, there has been a upgrade to the camera system on the drone. So now we have something called the PentaVision system. So now there is, instead of the two traditional uh, vision sensors on the front and on the bottom, like on the T50, so now it is now all around the top radar. So even, so even with this on the remote, we can now get a front view, side and rear view uh, perspective just like how you can see on the Enterprise drones. And then this is also paired with the fisheye lens at the very bottom. So this is a fisheye lens. So essentially what it does is instead of having a gimbal like on the T50, um, it is now a fisheye lens and it does a digital cropping or digital panning. So instead, basically less moving parts, less, less potential issues. And then now going into the radar and possibly the biggest selling point of this drone um, is the LiDAR. 
So now the T100 now comes with a LiDAR system. So as most of you probably have already heard, the LiDAR is a way of detecting obstacles via light. So night operations are now significantly more possible um, and obstacle avoidance has been improved again significantly. So Ryan, can you uh, tell our viewers in which scenarios they will benefit the most uh, with this LiDAR uh, system? Ooh, so people will benefit most um, when it comes to mainly like orchards, um, rough terrain such as like hilly terrain, like mountainous areas. Right. Um, on top of that, detecting small branches, small obstacles will also basically this LiDAR will significantly improve with your system. All right, so a new thing now is the filter lid. So now on the tank, you have a filter lid that you could just pop off and now you don't need to fully take off the lid like you did in the older models. It is just simple pop off, pop back in. And now we can see here, Mehdi described it earlier, but the heavier duty battery pins that hold in the battery and have a significantly stronger hold. I can actually show it right here. So it is a simple. It's interesting just... to pay attention to this area, like for the viewers, they see the connector, and now here you see how this clamps on. Yeah. So now pull it up. You can see how this opens. This, these are the clamps that they hold the battery in place. But yeah, please go ahead. And it's a simple press in and lock, and we're good. All right, so another thing to note too is now with the safety system, including the LiDAR, we have three radars. So there's going to be this upper one, which is the main radar. There is a bottom radar, a downward radar. And then there is one that comes with the landing gear right here. This is the rear radar. I would say now that you're here, you can also see these cables coming from the motors to the ESC. It's a beautiful look to have how clean their, these designs and this product is. There's nothing that like um, is uh, showing anything like a prototype. You see an industrial product when you see these things. All right, so now we have the two RTK antennas right here that you can use with your own N-TRIP network. Or if you want, uh, you can also use the DRTK base station uh, three or honestly the DRTK2 works as well. Perfect, so these are the RTK receivers that we have here, right Ryan? Mm -hmm. Good, excellent. I would like, I mean, yeah, you went into the detail of the sensor and all, but just the basics on this drone is interesting too. Look at this one here. You wanna change your propellers. You don't have to really deal with any, like stripping any screws, and I like this industrial level uh, nuts they put here and the propellers. Ryan, how many types of propellers do we have on this drone? So now there's only two, counterclockwise and clockwise. So there's no longer a upper or lower. Basically, these propellers are compatible with both. So basically, still they have to be, the, if someone wants to change a propeller, they need to know if they need clockwise or counterclockwise, mm -hmm. but there's only two types, so basically it doesn't matter if your clockwise is for a bottom motor or a top motor. That's good to know. And yeah, this part, so just something interesting again, like if you're walking by mistake, it's not gonna break. So it goes back in place like that because you can just close it or open it. But this is what I like about DJI, the attention to detail, like having this like soft material here for your hand. This, why DJI can do that? It's because DJI is the largest drone company in the world and they use the data for their designs and the software and everything else. That's why they have the best product in the market. And yeah, so when I talk about a small details like that, I wanna tell you how much R&D and engineering work is behind a product like this and how much attention to detail they put to create the best of the best. Thank you for watching the DJI Agris T100 unboxing video. Uh, please like the video, share it with a farmer or a friend that you have that can benefit from a drone like this. 
and subscribe to Talos Drones channel. We will be making a lot more videos with the DJI Agris T100 for you. Again, for Talos, and thank you for watching.